Alrighty. Hi everybody, this is Dawson. I'm back with another movie review for you today. And I'm very late to the party with this movie review because um, I saw this movie back in January when it came out. And I just never got around to reviewing it. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I'm going to review it today. Um, I've had over two months to process it. <laughs> Um, and I've only seen it once, so I probably should have rewatched it before I filmed this review, but I'm just gonna review it again. I'm just gonna review it anyway, and then maybe down the line I'll watch it again. But, um, yeah. I'm of course talking about the 2024 action uh, thriller film, The Beekeeper. Or as Jason Statham calls it in the movie, The Beekeeper. <laughs> Uh, directed by David Ayer, and stars Jason Statham, Josh Hutcherson, Jeremy Renner, Jeremy Irons, not Jeremy Renner, Emmy Lampman, Lampman, and Bobby Nevada, Nevada, and um, the the plot of the Bay Caper, uh, the Bay Caper according to Wikipedia, is as follows. When his good-hearted landlady commits suicide after her after losing her charity funds to a pishing scam, former beekeeper operative Adam Clay sets out on a brutal campaign for revenge among those responsible. And that is your plot of the beekeeper. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry that's the last time I'm gonna do that. I promise. Well, the beekeeper. Um this movie came out in January of this year. It was it came out after Night Swim, which if you saw my review for Night Swim, you know I did not like that movie. I thought that movie was really bad. As you can tell in my review, um, I didn't like it. And a lot of other critics didn't like it. Which is fair. Um, but um, The Beekeeper was a interesting movie because I saw the trailer for it. On literally every TV program on television. Because <laughs> they kept... Showing it on television. And, um, I'm not the biggest David Ayer fan. I mean, I like, um, most of the movies that he's done. Um, of course, one of them being Fast and the Furious. I like that movie. Training Day, I really enjoy. Uh, SWAT from 2003. This one's probably going to get me a lot of hate. I don't care. I really enjoyed Suicide Squad. I thought Suicide Squad was a fun movie. I know a lot of other people don't think that, but I thought Suicide Squad was a, was a pretty interesting movie. I thought it was a cool concept um, where we basically got to see all these supervillains become heroes, and it was an okay movie. Um, I especially loved, um, uh, Fury from 2014. Did David Ayer do it, Fury? Yes, he did. He directed Fury. Um, I did enjoy that movie. Um, oh, End of Watch is another movie I really enjoyed. Didn't really care for The Tax Collector. Uh, I thought The Tax Collector was kind of a boring movie, but, um, um, what are you going to do? Um, and then that's pretty much all the movies I've seen from David Ayer. Um, I've never seen the movie Harsh Times. I've never seen Mean Street Kings. Oh, I have seen Bright. I have seen the film Bright. I thought that was okay. But now we come to his next movie, The Beekeeper. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself from doing that. If you're offended by it, I'm sorry. 
But um, the beekeeper, yes. Um, you know, being the first, being the movie in January, you would think that this movie wasn't going to be good. But um, surprisingly enough, I had a fun time with this movie. Again, I've only seen it once. Um, I might go back and revisit it. I don't know. But, um... But, um... Yeah, it was, um... It was, it, it was good. It was a good movie. Um... I thought David Ayer's direction of the film was great. Um... I thought uh, the cast of this movie was good. Um, Jason Satham does a great job as Adam Clay. Jason Satham is known for doing action movies, so uh, he's good in the action scenes. Um, the uh, Emmy River Lampman as um, Agent Veronica, Veronica Parker. Uh, she's pretty good in this movie. Um, Bobby Narada as, uh, Matt Wiley. He's pretty good. Um, hold on. I'll get back to it in a minute. Um, As uh, I probably butchered that name, I'm sorry if I did. As um, Derek Danforth, uh, he's pretty good. Uh, Josh Hutch, oh no, as um, Maddie, as uh, Agent Maddie Wiley, he's pretty good. Uh, Josh Hutcherson as Derek Danforth, uh, he's pretty good. Uh, Jamie Irons, good old Jamie Irons as Wallace Webb West Wild, I guess that's his name. Uh, he's pretty good. David Witt as uh, Mickey Garnett. Uh, he's great. Um, Dan Lai as Agent Wynn. Or Kim. He's pretty good. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think the action scenes in this movie are great. Um, can't tell you for the life of me what my favorite action scene was because I've Forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about the action scenes, but uh, the action scenes are good. Um, the script by Kurt Wimmer is pretty good. Um, Jason Statham is uh, great as always in the film. He's he's great in the acting department. He's great in the fight scenes. Um, the cinematography is great. Um, If I had any negatives with the film, um, um, you'd think for a movie titled The Beekeeper, it would involve bees, <laughs> but it doesn't. Um, that's not why it's called that. <laughs> Most people thought that's why it was called that, because, you know, there'd be bees in it. Um, and, um, there kind of is bees involved um with the film like in the film but um not the way you think um but that's okay i didn't mind that um so i really don't really have any negatives with the film um if i had to say any um i don't know i i really don't have any negatives with this film um so overall the beekeeper this was a <clears throat> Excuse me. This was a pretty fun action movie. Um, I'm shocked to say that because usually January is just filled with the most dumpster fire movies possible. But hey, The Beekeeper. This is a. This was a. This. This was a. It, it was pretty good. 
It's pretty good. I like it. Um... Um, so, on a scale of one to four stars, I'm going to give the beekeeper a three and a half out of four stars. Three and a half out of four stars for the beekeeper. So, it's an excellent movie. Despite coming out in January, it's a pretty fun time. And that's my review of the beekeeper. So, this is Dawson. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, stay tuned. I will be back with more um, movie reviews. More 2024 movie reviews. Not doing any more franchises for a while. <laughs> because um, doing the MCU and uh, all the Pixar movies really sucked the life out of me. <laughs> so, um, not going to be doing any more franchise reviews. Um, so, um, yeah. But I'm not done with the Marvel movies. I guarantee you once Deadpool and Wolverine comes out, I'm definitely going to be reviewing it. But, um, yeah. But, yep. Yeah. But that's all. Until then, I'm Dawson. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time with another movie review. See you later.